Hey everyone! So today we're going to fetch some data in a component using fetch. So basically um, we created a component in the last video, it was just a, a product card. We just basically took um, this from the Tailwind website and we pasted it in here. So it's just a very simple product card with very simple um, static data. So we're going to use um, the fetch method. So you can see in the features guides book, uh, data fetching. And basically this is an example. And what we're going to do is we're going to fetch from the API, um, the api.nuxjs.dev mountains. So basically if you can, you can simply copy that, paste it in here. I've already done that. And we're going to see what we're going to get, right? So I'm using the mountains one. And in here, I've got title, description, height, uh, countries, content image, directory, the path, the slug, updated that. So this is all the information uh, that I'm getting back from the API. So I now want to use that information in my product card. So let's see how we will do that. So first of all, let's go to our code and we have our product card component. And this is basically it. So let's modify this a little bit. So we want to use the um, the image to be a dynamic image instead of coming from Unsplash. We can simply just put, um, shall we call it, um, let's just call it product, right? Because this could be any type of product. So product.image. Now, so that this doesn't like print out a string, we need to bind it. So we just use this. You can see that that's colors changed. Um, Let's go down to the bottom and do the description because that's pretty simple to understand what that is. And we can call it product.description. So here uh, we were using like a tag marketing. So if we kind of look at what's going on here, um, this kind of to me looks more like the title and this could be the continent that the mountain is on. So let's, let's have product dot continent and then this can be the title product dot title and as you can see we're linking to something so we can add this as product oops product dot slug okay make sure we add the binding and we're going to change this to be a next link so imagine we would have a page that's going to go to this, so a dynamic page. So instead of using um, the a tag, we're going to use the next link, and then that will give us an internal link. Okay. Um, so now we have all our product information, and you can see from this is not going to work. Obviously, it's all broken. That's fine. So you can see from here we could add more things if we wanted to, right? But this is where we're getting our idea of how we're going to um, construct a product card from our API. So here we have everything we need. And now what we need to do is we need to use props. So to use props, we need to create a script tag and we need to create props. And our prop is going to be product because that's what we called it in the template. And product is going to be a uh, object. It's going to be an object and we can put a default ops dun, 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 of object. Okay, so there we go. This is our props is set up with our product, which is an object. And inside that we've got description, title, slug, continent, image, and ooh, we should change the alt tag as well. Let's do that as well, because we don't want a woman paying for a purchase as the alt tag for all our images. So let's call it product dot title. Probably not the best alt tag, but it's better than what we had. Okay, so now we have this set up. We need to be able to use our data in our page where we're calling it, right? So we have our page called products. And as you can see, we're calling the product card. So in order to use our props in here, we basically now have to say that product is equal to 
product. Okay, so now we're making a connection of our prop product, which you can see here. This is here. And we're make, basically making a connection to it to the data. So we don't have any data. So let's add the data. So again, we use JavaScript and we use the data property. And in here, oops, don't know why that added there. Let me go. And we're going to basically put product. So we could add in here, um, very simply, we could create it ourselves. Let me just give you a simple example of title. Um, let me see image. Oops, I'm getting autocomplete. There we go, image, and let's put uh, image dot, well, let's put um, icon dot PNG, because that's actually in our static folder. Uh, what else do we have? Description. Just adding a description that we created, right? Just so you can see what we're gonna get. Um, and what else do we add? We add the continent. Um, my continent. Okay, so this is now our, our data, static. It's not very exciting, but we should be able to see something in our product card. Let's have a look. Let's just refresh. And um, we can't read property normalized, so something is missing. So let's just check what we've added in here. We added an image, a title, a continent, a title, and we added a slug, right? We've forgotten the slug. So let's add in our slug. And let's just put a home route, for example. And if we refresh that. Okay, so now we get our amazing, um, this is going to the home route, our amazing um, product card, right? And you can see we're getting my content description we created. So we can see the connection that we have here with how this is connected, right? But obviously this is really um, not exciting. So let's use the fetch to get this data from our API. So how are we gonna do that? So remember um, our API, we're getting it from here. And if you go to the next documentation, there's an example here of how to fetch the data. So let's copy this. This is what we wanna fetch. So we basically wanna copy this. Um, we wanna put it in after our, our data. Um, it's going to probably rearrange it there at the top. So now it's at the top async fetch and we're saying this dot mountains equals await our fetch of our API and we're fetching the API with the mountains at the end and then we're returning JSON. So that's basically all we're doing. Um, but as you can see here, I've got mountains and here I've got product. So this is going to be a problem. So let's basically change that, right? So we can say, we can just call this mountains. We can actually delete all of this because we don't need it anymore. And instead we'll just put mountains. And we'll make it an empty array because we're gonna fill this with mountains, right? So this is gonna basically fill this in here. So then our product is now a mountain, right? Now we could still call it product and change this around. But as you can see, this is an array, right? Because we have more than one mountain. If we look at our, our JSON, it's inside an array here because we have one mountain, two mountains. We have more than one mountain. So we basically need to use a V4. So we can use V4 and we can call it mountain in mountains. This is now our mountain, inside our mountains. And we can put the key of mountain.title. And let me just save that. That will kind of just put it in a nice order for me. And this is basically all I need. So I have for every mountain that's in the mountains uh, array, the key is the mountain.title that basically, you know, keeps it um, so that they're all, like it's an ID. 
And then the product I'm using is mountain, right? Because our product card, this could be used for anything. So this specific product is a mountain. Could be a holiday. I need a holiday. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got here. So if we go back to our application and refresh. Wow, look at that. We have all our mountains. So, okay, they're a little bit, yeah, some images are a little bit bigger than the others because these images are coming um, from somewhere and they're all different sized. So we can easily just fix that, right? We just, um, just simply create a style. Um, and then we'll just put image. And again, the autocomplete's coming in doing weird things. That's okay. And let's put a height of 120 pixels. I know it's a bit static for now. It's uh, not amazing, but it's just gonna like fix that a little bit. And we could probably just add a, um, let's add a class margin bottom of four, for example. So that should, yeah, that just places them a little bit nicer. So as you can see, we have our image, we have our continent, we have our title, which is going, as you can see on the bottom, it's going to the slug of that mountain, right? So if we created a dynamic page for that, we would be able to then fetch more things about the mountain, the height and all the other stuff. Uh, we've got our description and we're basically printing out all our, um, our mountains. So that's basically, it, it's as simple as that. What did we do? Just to recap, in our product card, we're using our product.image, product.title, product.content, product.slug, product.title, product description. We're uh, returning in our props the product so we can use that product. And then in our products page, we're basically saying this product card for every mountain in the mountains with the key of mountain title, our product is gonna be a mountain coming from here and we're using our mountains this dot mountains refers to our data mountains and we're basically saying that the mountains um, is equal to this array this empty array is equal to what is fetched from this API call and returned in JSON format and that's pretty much it um, pretty cool right so yeah have fun fetching um, you could then create a dynamic page uh, called slug and you could fetch all again inside that page again the mountains and kind of fill that out and and have lots of fun so possibly like you can do so much with fetch because you can use it in your components and you can also use it in your pages so yeah have fun with fetch